morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Take your seat. Mr. Pawan Kumar. Yes. You are working in the Secretariat? Yes, sir. I am working in the Secretariat. Sir. Have we met earlier? No, sir. I recently joined in the Secretariat, sir. Yeah. Yes, when sir. did you join? 2020, sir. 2020. So you were not trained by us. I was DG of the APHI. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Chakupan, sir. I know, sir. Actually, we haven't met. I mean, we took the online classes, sir. I think. I know online. Yes, sir. Yes. Our batch have don't have fortunate to, to come and directly interact. Sir. You are now in the Agriculture and Cooperation Department yes, sir. as assistant section officer. Yes, sir. Good. Can you tell us something about the the agriculture, our cooperation sectors of Andhra Pradesh. What do you deal with incidentally? What subjects? I, I deal with the cooperation sector. Sir. Cooperation. Yes. All right. Tell us about the cooperative structure in Andhra Pradesh. Yes, sir, sir uh, since in the, uh, before independence itself, we have a uh, cooperative sector that is robustly working and it has a very, cha very good chance and uh, grassroots values to collaborate the people to work for their problems. When it comes to the very uh, before independence, in 1904, 1904, there is a first act of the cooperation sector. This act gave the structure for the basis for the Indian cooperative sector, sir. After that, uh, when we specifically speak what about… What is that act? That act facilitated the… What is the name of that act? Uh, cooperative Societies, Societies Act, sir, 1904. Uh, so after that, uh, in AP, particularly in AP, there is a uh, cooperation sector working uh, before independence also by the stalwart of uh, Ram, Ram, Ram Swami Pantalu and then Patta Bisita Ramaya have been worked, I mean they facilitated the uh, cooperative system and now after the independence, the cooperative what, sector… What was the major contribution of, you said Patta Bisita yes, uh, Bogaraj Patta yes, what's his contribution? He's one of the greatest stalwart who worked for uh, not only the separate state of Andhra Pradesh, but also for the cause of the independence, sir. Uh, he is the, he played very key role in formation of Andhra Bank, sir. In? And in formation of Andhra Bank. And he wrote books. Did he also have a role in establishing the Andhra Scientific Company? Yes, sir. actually, uh, I don't know, sir. I'm, I'm Check up. Yeah, I'm aware about these things, sir. I don't know about the scientific and all uh, aspects of uh, Patta Visita Ram. Do you think the cooperatives are doing well in Andhra Pradesh? Sir, actually when we uh, specifically answer to that question, sir. Uh, what is the three-tier structure of cooperatives yes. in Andhra Pradesh? Yes, sir. It's, uh, in, at village level, it is kind of a uh, uh, primary agriculture cooperative society, sir. We call it as a PACS. And at the district level, district cooperative society sir, is there. And at state level, uh, at There is nothing in between? Uh, there is nothing in between, sir. The, doesn't the DCCB uh, have that branches? Is a district, a district have branches, branches? Yeah, district branches. Yeah, in three types of sector is a district, uh, village, district and states, sir. In between there is a black level uh, facilitatory centers are there, cooperative societies that uh, black level, mandal level facilitate to the farmers kind of uh, giving loans and uh, providing agriculture inputs and all. Can you think of some good cooperative institutions, not necessarily cooperative credit institutions, yes. cooperative institutions in Andhra Pradesh. A good cooperative. Uh, uh, Some of them have branched off into other areas also. Uh, yes, sir. Um, I'll think about it, sir. Actually. Did you go visit any PAC? No, sir. Actually, being uh, working in secretariat, I don't have an opportunity to visit the PAC, sir. Right. But m in my village, uh, there is a Mandal level. You still have a five-day week, isn't it? Yes, sir. In Mandal, so What I do you do on a holiday? Uh, in holiday, sir, usually uh, spend with the uh, time with family. You have any PAC which is not very far off from the place where you stay within five, ten yeah, kilometers, I'm sure. Actually, uh, in, uh, actually, uh, actually, in my village, uh, at black level, once I visited for uh, inputs of uh, seeds, sir. No, not as not as seed input, but as an assistant section officer. Yes, sir. Did you go to any pack? Uh, no, sir. Actually, think actually we haven't uh, gone through any packs because in secretariat, as per uh, our uh, um, work schedule and all, we used to, we used to work in the secretariat only. We are uh, not going to the field level, sir. They are all wanting to be recognized as employees of the DCCB. Do you think it's a correct move? Uh, actually, uh, sir. The recognition of the employees, I'm unaware. I'm talking of the PAC employees. 
Yeah, actually Do, that's... Should they be treated as employees of the DCCBs? There is issue going on, sir, uh, to bring the, these employees under the cooperative department. But I think, uh, as per my knowledge and my uh, limited knowledge, I'm unaware of it, sir. So are you comfortable in English or you want yeah, to ask comfortable questions? In English. <coughs> Mr. Pawan Kumar, sir. Are there any famous politicians uh, who are named as Pawan Kumar? Uh, Pawan, uh, as Sikkim Chief Minister, uh, I mean former, I mean now, now also he is doing for the, he is doing as a Chief Minister in Sikkim, sir. Pawan Kumar Chang, Chamling, I think, one of the person I know, sir. Yeah. So what do you know about Pawan Kalyan? I think he is an actor oh. and he recently uh, floated a party. I mean, his, th about his politics. His politics are actually, I am not into the politics. Sir. You are not I into the politics. I am not interested in that. Uh, you are from Chittur? Yes, sir. So uh, are there any other places uh, with the name Chittur other than Andhra Pradesh? Other than Andhra Pradesh in Chintanur uh, is there, sir. Chintanur is there. But exactly uh, as by my knowledge, I think, I think don't so, sir. I think uh, exact name is not there, but a little bit pronunciation is Chintanur. It's in, uh, I mean, uh, agency area, sir. Is it Chintanur or Chintur? Actually, my, uh, my district is Chittur, sir. No, I know, but you are talking of agency area. Uh, Chintanur, is there agency sir. area oh, in Chittur? No, sir, no. Uh, when you talk of agency area and Chintanur, I am talking whether, I am asking whether it is Chintur or Chintanur? Chintanur, sir. Chintanur, where is it? It's in uh, agency area, sir. Which agency? Uh, now now it comes know? under, uh, I think, my, as per my analysis, it, it comes under uh, Elur, Elur, sir. You worked in IBM? Yes, sir. What is the full form of IBM? International Business Missions. Business Missions? Missions. Missions. So what do they do actually? Actually, they do not only, they are the first builders of the computers, sir. Mm. And then after the building of the computers, they came into the business of uh, software solutions and the customer, soli uh, customer uh, outsourcing, I mean business mm. processing outsourcing. And then various, in various, I mean, they have research wings also, sir. They do a lot of research in artificial intelligence and uh, recent developments like a four point uh, uh, revolution also, they have been working on it, sir. So what is their mission about uh Artificial intelligence. Uh, I think uh, it's a exactly. I don't know the name. Actually, I I worked long ago. Okay. So do you think sorry? Do you think artificial intelligence is relevant for government employees? Yeah. Um, it's, I will I will think and answer, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, as artificial intelligence has been a new development in technological world. I think there is a lot of scope in agri, uh, I mean, uh, agri administrative sector also. Do you have any training programs for government employees in AI or so, machine learning? So far, I think no, sir. So far, we don't have any such a uh, training program. Why don't you, as an assistant section officer, initiate along with your departmental secretary or head of the department? Who is the head of the department in cooperation? A cooperation presently. Uh, uh, What's his designation? Pr principal secretary, uh, the surname. That's at the secretary. Yeah. I'm talking the head of the department. Is yes, there sir. a difference between yes, sir. head of the department and yeah. secretary? Yes, sir. There is a difference. Who is the head of the department? Head of the department is secretary, sir. Are you sure? Uh, all, all of the head. I mean, uh, in, in a, in a is there no difference between the head yeah, of the department head. and yes, secretariat? There, yes, sir, there who is the head of the department? Head of the department is the one who. Uh, implement the policies of the government uh, in grassroots level, sir. Presently, the uh, cooperative head, HOD is uh, Babu, sir. Babu, sir. The Honorable Babu, sir. Ahmad, uh, Why do you call him Honorable Babu? I, I think he... I, all, all, all Babus are honorable. All employees are honorable. Yeah, actually, actually... See, these are all feudal vestiges. Actually, sir. To call a bureaucrat honorable, isn't it? Yeah, actually, I, I, I didn't mean in that sense, sir. Actually, as I so mean, call that, Mr. Babu, to give me respect, all. that's it, sir. Yeah. So give me respect. Yeah. No, that's okay. Respect can be given even by calling Mr. Why do you call him honorable? <laughs> all Babus are honorable. All citizens are also honorable. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. I'll, I'll uh, learn from this yeah. incident, sir. Now, but then you are getting confused between the secretariat and the head of the department. 
the head of the department is different. Yes, sir. I am I'm not confused, sir. I just uh, wrong Point I'm, Then kindly make a note. Yes, sir. The head of the department is responsible for the implementation yes. of the policies and programs. Yes. The secretariat lays down the policies in addition to monitoring them. Yes, sir. So that's the distinction. The, who is the head of the department? Still, you have not given the designation. You only gave name. The, uh, the uh, commissioner, uh, commissioner of cooperatives and registrar of the cooperatives. Ah, society. That's what you should say. Yes. Uh, that, that's what I was driving at. Yeah. The commissioner cooperation and, and the registrar of cooperative society. Cooperative society. Yes. I was I, I commissioner. I was also MD of APCOP. Yes. So that's how uh, you need to sure, understand the structure. That's a credit structure. Yes. Sir. The credit structure is that of the DCCB and APCO. Yes. The cooperative department is headed by the commissioner. So, in 2018, you are qualified in the group two. Yes, sir. Uh, that is the notice. Then, in 2019, uh, Gramavad exam. Yes, no, sir. No. So, between group two and Sachivalayam exam, which is superior exam? Group two is a superior. Sir. Uh, then why did you wrote this exam again in 19? Sir, actually, uh, after my uh, I mean, uh, BPO job, I thought to join in government sector, sir. Mm. So that time, uh, group 2 notification came first. And then, uh, uh, Rama Ward Sachwari notification came later. So I wrote, very, I mean, took, uh, took six, six months of leave and prepared very diligently and gave the group 2 exam, sir. In between, this Rama Ward Sachwari uh, exam came. I thought of, uh, that time, uh, ranks were yet to release, sir. I thought of why should I waste opportunity and to learn the, how uh, this is the grassroots of the uh, uh, panchayat system working in the rural and urban centre. So, to have opportunity to, uh, to have experience, I joined it, sir. At the same time, uh, I get to know the things. So, what are this, uh, what is the role of this Grama volunteers? Sir, uh, Grama volunteers are the facilitators. Actually, a volunteer is the self board that says that uh, they provide certain services without any pay, for example, even though they are without any pay. Yes, sir. Volunteer would define that something yeah. you do for uh, society without expecting any perks and pay, sir. But uh, the volunteers uh, in this system, they have been doing one of the, I mean, uh, good work in the sense that they are uh, taking government welfare schemes and all into the grassroots level, sir, by educating the people in the sense that what are the government programs. Hitherto, hither the volunteer system, the only Panjati secretary uh, for the one village, he has to roam all around the village and he need to sensitize the people about the programs and welfare schemes. Sir. But when it comes to the volunteer system, there is a uh, very uh, sharp and uh, attractive role for, for them to educate the people and bring the government services into their those shops. Actually, volunteers are uh, uh, take care of the 5200 households in the village. So, they will have every uh, positive I mean, aspects of the government to get to the, their doorsteps. See, in these days of modern technology, where is the need for doorstep? Everything is in your palm. palm. Where is the need for a doorstep functionally? Even though, sir, no, the point is, do you need a voluntary force of about 2 lakhs who are paid at the rate of 5,000? They are paid 5,000 now? Yes, sir. Honorarium. Honorarium. And do you need that kind of a workforce? Have they become influence peddlers? That's a question which Mr. Pradeep is asking. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, even though technological inter uh, technology development and uh, uh, AE technologies and industrial for revolution have been evolving, since there is a villages where the cell phone towers is not available. So, human intervention is always required for that. No, but is there any village which is not accessible yes, by mobile phone for today? Example, um, Forget the agency areas. Most of the state, is it not accessible by mobile network? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I will say my village itself uh, has got mobile uh, mobile tower recently two years back, sir. Before that, we don't have any mobile towers. Uh, even now, it, we have 3G. I mean, it's kind of not 3G, it is 2G uh, as a BSNL tower, sole provider of the communication uh, aspect in our village. So, there is still villages which are lacking the uh, very basic uh, necessities of mobile towers and all. So, I believe that technology can be improved the delivery of the public goods, sir. But in a way, human intervention is very necessary to uh, facilitate the… At, at what cost? The cost is, uh, I think… Uh, 2 lakhs into 5,000 into 12, what's the cost? Yes, sir. Uh, even though uh, it is uh, costing uh, to the government, but the uh, longer, longer period, the 
development aspects will be improved. Sir. So efficiency of the delivery and uh, reduction of the corruption, these aspects would be addressed at the cost of the money. Sir. <coughs> so you were, uh, you were holding a position of uh, opposition leader in the school parliament. Yes. What is the school parliament? Sir, when we used to study in our, our rural village, ZPHS, uh, there is a social teacher. Actually, we don't have teachers up to the 8th class, sir. Ninth, in 9th ninth class, uh, DSC, I mean, I don't know exactly, the new batch of teachers came. One of the fascinating teachers, even he is my inspiration, the social teacher used to conduct the parliamentary every Friday, sir. He randomly picked the candidates who has get, uh, ability to speak and all. They will, uh, SAR will allocate the certain posts. For example, as per the as reflection of the current uh, uh, parliament, he will, he will give the post like minister and uh, other uh, chief minister and all, and also the opposition. So in what parliament, you have chief minister and minister? No, no, sir. Actually, in, in, as the same reflection of the state government, in the same reflection of the state government. I thought there is a difference between yes, sir, parliament yes, sir, yes, sir. and assembly. Actually, it's called as a youth parliament, even Should though. Be very, uh, yeah, it's very careful. Sure, sir. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it is called as a youth parliament. But the same reflection of the state uh, assembly and all. So there, uh, he will allocate the certain roles and responsibilities, sir. For example, clean and green will be there. He has to take care every Saturday. He has to roam around the school and whether there is any, uh, uh, I mean, very, uh, any uh, plastic. Okay. And who is the uh, leader of opposition in the Lok Sabha at present? Uh, Kadge, sir. Sri Kadge. Sri Kadge, sir. What's his full name? Yeah, sorry, sir. I actually stuck up. Should Mallikarjuna Kharge. Yeah, Mallikarjuna Kharge. Sorry, sir. So, he's a recognized leader of opposition. As per uh, parliament, I think, uh, I think t 1 by 10% 10, 10 of the vote, whoever the secure, I mean mem members, they is the uh, opposition leader, sir. But as per my, my knowledge, uh, as per my previous knowledge, there is a short of members. But later I said that whoever the carry some members, they can be... Uh, whoever party. is the leader of the largest, largest party, party. Yeah. that's what you should say. Yes, sir. Whoever the largest party can be a member of the opposition leaders. So what is this uh, present position of uh, parliamentary membership of uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi? Rahul Gandhi, sir. Uh, at uh, a recent development, it is under suspension, sir. Is uh, yeah, uh, for the... Is he suspended or dismissed? He is dismissed, sir. Dismissed, yes. Why? Why he was dismissed? Uh, actually, exactly. Um, I think he made uh, some alleged remarks against the certain communities in the poll. Uh, so you are not sure of that? Sir? You are not sure of what? Exactly, I am not sure about it. Okay. So you were also a cricket player? Yes, sir. Uh, and are you a right-handed batsman or left-handed? I am a right-handed batsman. Right-handed batsman. So how this right-hand batsmanship and uh, left-hand batsman are different apart from using the hands? Yes, sir. In what way they do the batting? Yes, sir. Actually, there is, uh, for the two sides of the, either right or left hand, they have their own strengths and pros, sir. When it comes to the field, uh, usually right-hand batsman will have the strength to hit the more shots on leg side, sir. So, field according to most of the uh, strategy, they will be keep uh, fielding on the leg side. And often the person who evolved, he is a professional player, he can play the all round, all round of the sort. But when, when it comes to the left hand, he has his strength, own strength on the uh, his leg side. Sir. So, as a way, I think it is uh, their own personal ability to judge the ball and hit the shots and play the drives and all. So, equal, they both, left hand and right hand both have the equal uh, opportunity and uh, uh, ability to play. Yeah. Can you list out the Navaratna schemes, all the nine points in the Navaratna schemes? Sir, uh, can you please give me a minute to recall, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, first, I will start with the Raid Barosa. And secondly, uh, houses for all uh, poor people and pensions, sir. Third is pensions. Uh, fourth is uh, uh, Asara and Chayuta. Uh, fifth is Arogisri, sir. Uh, sixth is Amavadi. Uh, sixth is Amavadi. Uh, seventh is alcohol ban, sir. 
ఎయిత్ ఇస్ జలయజ్ఞం Are you observing the Russia-Ukraine war? Ah, yes, sir. Since how long they are fighting? Uh, it's around 2020. And it's, uh, since, I think, one year and uh, eight months, six months, sir. Six months? Eight, uh, one year, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, more than one year, sir. Okay. So, uh, who will, who's going to win the war? Sir, as per my knowledge, uh, the Russia has a potential and it, it has a, a, all a war um, technology and all. But the backing of the NATO forces to the Ukraine, it will bring uh, one of the worst war phases. The same was said by our Honorable Prime Minister. The war is not, uh, this era is not for the war, kind of. So I believe in, I think it is either win or not. That should be diplomacy. Has India benefited or at a log ahead in, the, in this war? Sir, uh, as per my knowledge, sir, I think uh, initially when the war is war took place, there is a shortage of food and all. Uh, even though we are not very much dependent upon the wheat, wheat import of the Ukraine and all, but somehow we have uh, disrupted in the supply chains. Sir. For example, oil imports were shorted out at that time. Re later we had a uh, big deal with the getting more oil from the Russia. So somewhere our oil prices later uh, in 2023 uh, and uh, later quarter of the 22, oil prices are eased. Before that, so in such a way, in as if we see the oil imports and later the inflation also is eased. So in my view, uh, in beginning there is some sort of uh, global slowdown, and but now we are uh, somewhat benefited. What do you know about India Alliance? India Alliance, a new name yeah. is being given to this UPA. Actually, I don't know, sir, but I can guess uh, if uh, you give me a chance. And I learn about it, sir. Uh, you are a motorcycle rider? Yes, sir. Uh, what type of motorcycles you ride? Actually, I have uh, Royal Enfield 500 CC, sir. Oh. I bought it in second hand. I used to drive it, sir. Okay. Uh, why these uh, uh, motorbikes are so much trendy among the youth? Sir, uh, always youth, their blood is like, uh, I mean, they like very much speed and also. So, it's a young age, they believe that we can do anything in the, uh, beneath the sky. So, one of the aspect they, I mean, youth usually enjoy, speed, sir. So, speed have been one of the main reason the youth have been exploring these donors. Is speed always good or No, sir, absolutely, the speed as much as it thrills. It, it always kills, sir. So responsible youth should maintain the uh, traffic decorum and also. So what are the principles of responsible riding? A responsible riding is, sir, first of all, very beginning, a rider must always wear the helmets. Second, it comes, uh, you should, uh, some scooters will not have the signaling. They More not. important than that should... He, he should has have a license, sir. He should have a license. No, apart from that, that's apart from that. Yes, sir. He right. should not be drunk. Yes, sir. That's a, another aspect. Another aspect. Drink and drive should not be mixed. Uh, that is the one more. Yes, sir. Then you should long uh, distance travel. The uh, some of the accidents will happen due to the he, he may give left side signal. He may uh, suddenly turn right. Sir. Mm -hmm. So tra traffic rules should be maintained very uh, strictly, and he should have a protective gear. If suppose some mishap ha happen, he should protect himself, sir. What type of movies you watch? Sir, I watch movies to learn, I mean, a perspective, sir. I even watch Telugu and uh, Hollywood movies mm. and, uh, I mean, uh, uh, sometimes Hindi movies to watch. Uh, do you have any idea about the coming of the age movies, general? Coming of the age movies, sir. I, recently, I learned, I mean, uh, the Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Uh, I, I heard it, I haven't watched it, Oppenheimer. And uh, the Avengers and all, uh, they predict the future world with different kind of... Uh, okay. uh, at least, you do, do you have the idea about uh, the genre of road movies? Road movies, sir. Uh, actually, I am unable to understand your question, sir. Road movies means? <coughs> because uh, one of your hobbies is motorcycles. Yes, sir. Yes. 
and you are also having this hobby movies. Yes, sir. This is, there is the one genre called yes, sir, I got it. movies. Now I got it, sir. I watched one movie called uh, Into the Wild, sir. It's a Hollywood, Into the Wild. Mm. It's a Hollywood movie. Actually, protagonist is to do uh, get a one uh, caravan kind of van. He explore uh, almost all, all the places of the world, sir. I think he start in the south of the America and he travel to the Alaska. And all. Uh, he he was what he, he totally immense with the nature. So he, he thought that he, he has, is not able to live with the people. He used to live in the nature, sir, with the uh, in the forest environment. It is a, I think it is one of the real story as per my, my knowledge. What he has done is that even the food and all, sir, he used to cook himself and he used to uh, rely upon the natural uh, things like leave some food. Suddenly you don't know, he eats some flower or some fruit. It, 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 for that reason, you don't know the tax city of that fruit. Are there any road movies made in India, uh, either in Telugu or Hindi or any other Indian languages? Uh, road movies, uh, exactly, I, I am unable to recall, sir. I might have seen it, but uh, presently I am unable to recall it, sir. Can you name five outstanding parliamentarians from independence and then tell us about one or two sentences about each one of them? Sir, uh, you said you were a member of the yes, student yes, parliament yes, itself. Yes, sir. I well, very much admire the work of uh, Mr. Uh, Honorable the Prime Minister, uh, former Prime Minister Atal Bihal Vajpayee, sir. Uh, because uh, once I watched his uh, speeches in parliament, through YouTube videos and all. So, his uh, oratory skills and he getting people uh, along with the uh, all other parties to uh, discussion and debate, I like very much him, sir. And then second, I will say Lal Bahadur Shastri, sir. Because of his honesty and it, it ability to uh, approve, I mean, uh, his ability to agree for the mistakes when, when he is a railway minister. And then, uh, thirdly, I will say about the Patel, uh, Sardar Valbhai Patel, one of the main uh, strong iron man of the India, who united India. Uh, and then, fourthly, I will recall, uh, I think, uh, even uh, for that matter, uh, Pandit Nehruji is also one of the stalwart of the Indian parliament. Uh, and then, fifthly, I will say, uh, This, this, this much of people. Have you heard of Balraj Madhu, George Fernandez? Ah, yeah, George Fernandez. Ah, but I. Somnath Chatterjee. Yes, sir. See, these are all the names that you need to remember, to recognize, and recollect their parts. Outstanding legislators at the state level, both with uh, in the undivided state and now. Outstanding, I think. Our legislators. Legislators, sir. Outstanding. Sorry, sir, I am not What newspapers do you read? I, read, I used to read Rinadu and the Hindu, sir. Hindu. Okay. So that's all, Mr. Pawan Kumar. Uh, it was a good one, but uh, you need much better preparation yes. about yourself. Okay, okay sir. Uh, <coughs> your knowledge of the current affairs is good. And if I am, uh, when I was asking you about the Navratna schemes. Yes, sir. It is not that you are supposed to remember all the nine programs on the spot. You are expected to be confident about those, whatever the things that you are uh, giving. And if you are not remembering anything, you can openly tell the board uh, that I could not able to uh, remember. So, you have a good smiling face, that's a plus point in you. Thank you sir. And you can sit relaxed. And, uh, Sentence construction, when you are talking, it should be a little bit polite because you are already a bureaucrat and you are going to be another senior level bureaucracy and you are dealing with the bureaucrats again. So, bureaucrats are expected to be more polite to their superiors. Yeah, your knowledge is good your, since you are working in the agriculture and cooperation department, probably you will be expected to uh, know more about them. The structure, you were not very forthcoming when I asked you about the head of the department, the name of the designation of the head of the department, etc. 
then as he said, your sentence construction should be very, very clear. And uh, it should enable you to complete a sentence, the breaking sentences. Your uh, recollection of the outstanding legislators, you got mixed up with the individual and the parliamentarian. See, Lal Badur Shastri was an outstanding individual. His personality was very great, but whether you call him as an outstanding parliamentarian in terms of his legislative parliamentary abilities is slightly different. You have a good bearing, good personality, you are confident. Complete the sentences, be very explicit in your pronunciation and improve your knowledge of the subject that you are dealing with. Sure. And about the volunteers, you, you must be able to give both the plus and minus. And the conflict between the Gram Panchayat Secretary, Secretariat staff, since you were, and the volunteers, probably you could bring up now and then.